Hello everyone, what's happening? As your content management manager, I'm gonna go ahead and have to ask you to have that CMS report comparing WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal on my desk first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Great. <laughs> Before we figure out the difference between the three most popular CMSs out there, we should talk about what is a CMS. A CMS or content management system is basically the behind the scenes backbone of a website that houses all of your photos, posts, website configurations, and administration abilities. Unless you want to code your site from scratch, which is totally cool if you can hack it, <laughs> hack it, <laughs> then you will likely need a CMS to manage and administer all of the details that go into a website. It's typically an application you install on your web hosting space and configure with a theme or a template or customize from the ground up. Once installed, a CMS provides a way to manage all of the behind the scenes inner workings of your site and the level of complexity of managing and using your CMS often depends on the complexity of your site. Generally, more complex sites often require a more complex CMS to bring it all together. This brings us to the three most popular CMSs you can install for free on your web hosting. So popular, they're always getting their slice of birthday cake. So popular, they never get their stapler stolen. So popular, they're required only 10 pieces of flair. Oh. <laughs> That's right, please welcome WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. Wow. First up, WordPress. Yeah, buddy. WordPress is the most common and most accessible to the non-coder out there. Once installed on your hosting space, it's incredibly easy to create pages, add users, and publish posts. It was originally designed as a CMS for blogs, but has grown over time to be a robust solution for many applications. You can have your site be blog-centric, or select a static page as your homepage and not even use the blogging functionality at all. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Plus, there's practically an infinite amount of plugins, themes, and website builders that can be installed, so you can customize and add whatever level of complexity you want. One thing to consider is that because of how common and open source it is, WordPress is more susceptible to being hacked. So make sure you install and configure a security plugin like iTheme Security. WordPress's popularity is similar to mine. Friendly, but also maybe too simple. Oh, <laughs> Next up, Joomla. If you are looking to level up your site into something a little more complex than a simple site or blog, then maybe it's time to graduate to Joomla or graduate from Joomla school. <laughs> become a Joom lawyer, or a Joom judge if things go well, and then get elected as a Joom senator. Joomla adds functionality that is more suited for multi-user sites like social networks or community-based sites. Because of the added functionality, the customizability and level of detail you can explore are greater than WordPress. As they say, with added functionality comes added complexity. <laughs> Thanks, Uncle Ben. That is a direct Spider-Man quote, I believe. <laughs> Though Joomla has a bit of a steeper learning curve, it is still pretty accessible to the entry-level coder. One downside is that there is no template directory, so you have to look to third-party creators for design themes. But where it lacks in design templates, there are thousands of Joomla extensions in the extensions library, so there's a seemingly endless supply of detailed and extensive customized functionality. The popularity of Joomla is similar to the Spider-Man story. Pretty accessible if you're in that world. Pretty friendly but complicated enough to keep you intrigued. I mean, radioactive spider? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> Finally, Drupal! Hey. <laughs> Drupal is the most difficult to use as it requires the most technical ability out of the three. If you're just a coder girl living in a coder world, then Drupal might be for you. Because of its level of complexity, it offers the widest range of customizability, the highest level of security, and the most flexibility and power. Like WordPress, Drupal does offer a design theme library, but again, working with these themes requires some mad dev skills. Drupal is a great foundation for any sophisticated or complex site that might require user account management or user portals. Drupal's popularity is just like Madonna's. Very complicated, but very good at what she does. Maybe even the best. But would I be able to talk to her? Probably not. <laughs> and that's it, WordPress, Joomla, and Drupal. To sum it up, if your site is primarily a blog or a simple static site, use WordPress. If it's a simple site with maybe a blog or maybe a community of users and you're not a developer, use Joomla. If you're building a complex site and need unlimited freedom and you are a developer, use Drupal. In our next episode, we take a baseball bat to a copy machine at 120 frames per second. <laughs> okay, bye! Woo! 
Michael, uh, have you seen Office Space? Oh, of course. So you get that this is a reference. To yes. It. Yeah. yeah. The whole thing is obvious. You could have gone uh, with uh, with the flare. You could have gone with the flare. You got to okay. go with the run, Bert. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's, that would have been good too. That's one of my favorite guys. Yeah. I love that.